Welcome to the Clash Bash League quarterfinals. I'm William Table and Legs, and I'm here with Kevin Smurf Murphy. Kevin, what's up? What's up? Our match today is between Chandler on Azalea and Reinar and John on Dromai and Bravo. Kevin, the first match is between the Azalea and the Bravo. How is that actually supposed to go down? Um, so, I mean, Azalea is just trying to get a couple of big dominated arrows when you start at 20 life and you send 14 dominate, that's, uh, it's going to put in some work. Yeah. Um, especially when the armor count, uh, looks slightly lower than it does in normal constructed formats. True. Uh, Bravo kind of wants to do the same thing, except with slightly more disruptive on hit effects. They do still get choke slam, uh, which is very effective on hit in this matchup. Um, Oh, okay. Toxicity is actually, the card that we've oh, not, wow. I, I haven't seen too much of, but is was very interesting for Azalea and Limited. Uh, it was just kind of a zero for five go again because it was really hard to stop the dominate. And then when you don't have as much armor, it's even harder to stop it. So yeah. that's actually a very interesting card to see outright. Azalea went for uh, just a blind flip, trying to find an arrow, didn't find one, just chose to cycle the toxicity uh, on their first turn, on turn zero and then pass it over to Bravo, not letting them filter. So one thing I definitely like pointing out in uh, Clash specifically is one of the strongest pieces of equipment that we know of. Uh, Heart and Cross Strap is on Bravo's side of the field. True. Insane. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, but just right it's now, an entire card, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's so efficient, uh, and it's really good, um, but... We already got a crippling crush, not dominated, just naturally thrown out there. Yep. So we're just going to lay the entire the hand in front of this. We're not going to try and do anything silly where we keep try and keep whatever cards. We're going to take one, pass it back to Bravo. Bravo doesn't get to keep an arsenal, so uh, he's not going to get to do like he, he's going to be a little bit less consistent. He's playing off top of his deck. He doesn't get to set anything up. Um, Bravo does get crippling crush and starstruck still, which are. Oh my gosh, yeah. Pretty pretty Holy good. Frick. They're pretty good cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, and also it is kind of uh, when you're playing the uh, more aggressive deck in the format, which or in the matchup, mm. so I, I'd assume Azale that'd be Azalea's role. Um, she, she's fine blocking her whole hand in front of an attack like that every once in a while because her... Her deck is more consistent, and she will get tempo back. Eventually, Bravo could just run into all blue hands, <laughs> except right now, I guess. Frick. Yeah. Uh, so Bravo here she's just throwing another raw Crippling Crush, and he's going to get to leak three because it's all front pumps That's in really the hand. Uh, he pitched away two blues and a pummel for it, so he's again sitting on no arsenal, but he's down two Crippling Crushes. He's only pushed four damage. Um, I It's... He, he's not been able to set anything up and kind of guarantee the back-to-back -back disruption. If he hits, obviously, if he has triple blue with crippling, that's ideal. But yet, having to pitch away a pummel is a little, a little spooky. Oh, interesting. So, <laughs> hard and cross strap used uh, to play a crush confidence. Two floating, two cards mm, in hand. Mm, <laughs> Red flags. Uh, the in, sirens going immediate off. Immediate alarm bells. <laughs> yes. Immediate alarm bells. So I, <laughs> with that hover, we got to see there is a lace with blood rot in the arsenal. So that's not an arrow that can just be sent. Um, crush confidence, removing uh, hero ability for a turn if it crushes, which hmm. Pummel has a pretty good chance of pushing over the top. It's not um, super not, debilitating the on hit? Not hugely. Uh, I think this hand is more just awkward for Azalea with three arrows and a knock. You're not really getting a huge number out of this hand, kind of regardless. It is blue a blue pummel. pummel, so that means we're looking at at least... Uh, we can reasonably guess that there's four pummels in this deck. So, um, Heart and Cross Trap used on that last turn just to get the arsenal, I assume? Uh, yeah, so just for two resources to play out that pummel. It's interesting that they went for that rather than dominating the Crush Confidence. Um, because they could have done that as well, pitching the blue pummel and keeping it and still getting the effect. But I guess crush confidence not the most uh, impactful on hit. If it was for like a choke slam or something, I imagine we would have seen the um the dominate. But we're we went with the pummel, get the discard, be slightly more disruptive, uh, and get to set the arsenal. So 
the heart and cross strap doing what it does, getting a full extra card worth of resources. So it makes me interested as to what the next turn is that you as Bravo are willing to try to go for a five card hand, which he's not always known for being able to efficiently use all five cards. Um, it's there it is looking for a five card. OK, he, it, he's just looking for to set up an efficient, like, yeah, make efficient use of his cards. Sure. True, true. But this is five um, would go which, again, the zealous belting uh, five would go again, zealous belting. I imagine just hammer after this. And it could be Arsenal. one of the four cost cards because he does have one floating. Could be. And there it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. Very, very clean play. Very efficient play. Uh, debilitate. We'll take uh, the blood uh, rock, but I don't think he cares about that. Not really. He's just getting Azalea to just block out with a bunch of his cards. Azalea's already down 10 cards in deck. Like, so down 10 cards in deck, almost down 10 points of life. Uh, where is yeah, Azalea's way life. back into the game? And, It, Bravo might have to miss or like two turns in a row. Don't, yeah, like pretty significantly in this one, it feels like because they're, they're Azalea kind of needs that tempo. The problem is Bravo's going to be presenting lethal every turn from here on out. So he's going to be taking cards every turn here on out. Um, on top of that, as soon as we get back to that red pummel that was pitched for the first crippling crush, uh, there isn't much you can do at that point. No. It feels like. So it's like, how many, because you're just not able to, yeah, and we're just going to give up our entire hand, we're going to give up four more cards from deck, still take two, and present nothing. Um, so th this is just kind of, we're, we're still in the same hole, but there wasn't a, I, I don't know a good way out of it at this point. Yeah, it, it seems a little insurmountable. And here comes the first of many, if this if this doesn't do it, yeah. uh, dominated attacks. Macho Grande, eight damage. Mm -hmm. They only had six life, blocked with one card, went down to one life. Next dominated attack wins. Uh, pretty much. I don't. I don't think I've seen noticed any D reacts in the Azalea list so far. I'd be surprised to see them on any. Um. Uh. Ooh, Ridge Rider shot. That's interesting. Um. The, this is just kind of even even Titan's Fist now is going to take two cards and Azalea is going to kind of it's Bravo's looking for just one turn. Ooh, here Azalea is making right, so gonna... the most use of uh, yeah. her equipment on the turn that she got a couple of cards and yeah. getting resources from Deep yeah. Blue Ragamuffin's Hat throwing a fatigue shot for eleven dominate. This is going to slow Bravo down at least a little bit. It, it's not bad. It is it is 11 dominated, so you're getting that hit effect for whatever the attack action is reducing its uh, its value. The problem is I might, if I'm Bravo, just take this and say 5 dominates good enough for Ooh. whatever it is. If yeah. we're back to the pummel, uh, then it really doesn't matter, I think. Um, we haven't seen it, the other is, one, have we? Uh, the first red one was pitched to, oh, to the first, the first one. Crush. Yes, you're right. Um, so I, th I think Bravo is going to be happy here to just take this and say dominates good enough. Oh, or Zealous or we can, can take just the Zealous punch. for three. <laughs> Zealous takes. Zealous will take three. And oh then my gosh. we can send a oh, no. blue pummel it. <laughs> we can also just blue we pummel it. We just blue pummel it. Oh my gosh. Wow. And Bravo yeah, wins. That was yeah, even even though those crippling crushes weren't dominated, they were enough tempo just taking the entire hand, chipping in bit by bit. Azalea doesn't block super well. Half her, a little under half her deck is uh, two block front pumps for arrows. So yeah. when she's forced to block with those, uh, it's not super yeah. efficient for her. It's not exactly what she wants to be doing. You, you got to be doing something before you get to that state. Um, well, that that yeah. wraps up game number one. Uh, uh, we were William and Kevin from Pit Against the Table Pits live Flesh and Blood call -in show. Make sure to tune into the rest of the top eight here of the Clash Batch right here. Bye. <laughs>